Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Andre from Minsk, Belarus. I'm a certified tour guide. I have posted the query with the police ministry about do's and don'ts in photography. And this is what the fine ministry has to tell us about the uh, photography in Minsk. Before we get to the official comments of the Ministry of Internal Affairs, I will try to summarize everything related to taking pictures in the streets of Minsk from my guiding experience. It appears Belarus has a definite and yet obscure policy to disallow taking pictures of public buildings of a special security status, though some of them are actually on the country's heritage list. While officially it would be recommended against capturing such things, how would a person, especially a foreign visitor, know which is which? The following tips might help. If it has a flag on top of it, or a guard beside it, don't photograph, particularly using professional equipment like drones, tripods or huge lenses. An interesting exception though, while you officially cannot take pictures of the government house in Minsk, the statue of Lenin is okay to capture. Just don't climb the tribune behind the old man. Minsk metro system is new and is not as ornate as metro in Moscow. Some of my colleagues here had metro tours but a few years ago photography was forbidden in the underground. Seriously enough, one of the things not to be photographed in Minsk is Metro. Can't tell why, but so they tell me is the case in St. Petersburg. Most central areas in Minsk have routine police patrols. They maintain public order. If you're not using anything sophisticated, some large equipment or drones, and if you're following these tips, but in most cases they'll just pass you by. In Belarus you can frequently, though not always, count on previous experience. I've taken a lovely Sunday morning walk through central Minsk and took a few pictures of public buildings and city landscapes to see how it will work. Minsk is one of the cities where Saturday and Sunday morning photography is the most beneficial because it's very quiet here. So far none of my guests have ever experienced issues photographing the buildings in Independence Avenue, particularly the appetizing building of the Secret Service. Many foreigners go under the impression that KGB no longer exists. In fact, out of 15 ex-Soviet countries, Belarus still has it and it still uses the old name. The office is right behind me. Many people ask me what's inside. Well, KGB is inside. By now I've crossed half of central Minsk, filmed the police ministry, the secret service building and even Comrade Dzerzhinsky didn't turn his head to say something nasty to me. Everything's going fine. The reply of the police ministry, after all, was not particularly helpful. You must ask the policemen or other members of public before taking pictures of them or with them. Policemen would say no here. And there's a list of uh, restricted buildings approved of by the Council of Ministers. That's it. No link, no list. The reply by the Minsk City Council was considerably more informative. It appears that in Minsk or in Belarus, in the public places like cafes or shops, you can freely film anything you like in the house, security can and may do nothing about this, uh, except for casinos, by the way. Uh, the uh, public displays of the shops make no commercial secret, and the crossed camera sticker at the entrance is absolutely of no concern. To complete my homework, I decided to take a quick trip to October Square, Independence Square and train station and ask around the street cops. Uh, so that they could tell me what can be done, what can't be done, and from what distance. So that you guys had no issues at all once here. The guard of the government house has just confirmed. Shoot Lenin, don't shoot the government house, just like all public buildings in the country. So train station is not to be photographed while trains and nearby buildings are okay. I've asked around the train station police people and uh, they don't seem to have any regulations against photography down here. So trains are fine, architecture is fine. Railway station building can't be photographed. It has been a nice experiment, and with the above said in mind, the conclusions are take the pictures you like, at the angles you like, with the equipment you like, but be careful. Best of luck from the city of Minsk. This was Andre, a certified tour guide. See you later.